it's it's learning how to handle exactly those nerves. That's what it's all about. That you can stay calm when it counts, but inside, I bet you there's a World War Three going on. <laughs> That's for sure. And the same is probably true for this young lady, Yashim Bostan, from Turkey, the 21-year-old, ranked sixth in the world coming in. Averaging 9.5 points per arrow, has 28 wins on her resume, and two of those have been in tiebreakers. Her top qualifying score in her brief career, 697. She'll be up against another top flight young archer. This is the 25-year-old Inga van Kaspel from the Netherlands, who's making her first World Cup final appearance. Same goes for Yashim Bostan. Inga van Kaspel ranked 11th in the world, 49 match wins in her career. Averages 9.4 per arrow, has won four tiebreakers. The young lady from Amsterdam. And that is a point we really haven't touched on yet so far, Tor, but there are a lot of people in this World Cup Finals field who've gotten to this point and gotten to this level of competition for the first time in their careers. So it's a learning experience for them too. Yeah, it is. They, yeah, it, it, uh, I can't find the word for it right now. <laughs> you know, as much as the World Cup, uh, I think the World Cup season and the World Cup tour gets them ready for it. No. Until you reach this level and you're you're here in the spotlight, yeah. you know, you've got to, you've got to experience it to understand how to deal with it. That's definitely. Uh, I just spoke to some of the male compound archers yesterday and. Um, we talked about that it's incredible that you're shooting a whole tournament of two rounds of 36 arrows, then you shoot uh, elimination rounds, you shoot final rounds, and all you can use is actually the last six or three arrows. Mm -hmm. All the rest is just something you've got to get through. It's down to the last three arrows. That's where it all happens. You drop one arrow, you out. Out. That's it and it can easily happen. Life isn't fair, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same for everybody. So I guess in that sense, it is. Yeah. Pair of tens to start off this third match in the women's compound action here at the World Cup Finals in Odense, Denmark. Another 10. It's nice day to shoot. But I can guarantee you one thing. They might not have shoot for many, many years, but they spent a lot of hours every day shooting. getting ready for this oh yeah and the first to falter just a little bit and when i say falter that means just dropping out of the ten ring <laughs> into the nine yashim bostan who falls a point behind inga van kaspel can she take advantage of that by running the table here in the opening end you hear the countdown behind her that was, yeah waited a long time she struggled to get that shot off there's only a couple of seconds left for her to get the shot away, and it's an eight. So an opportunity right here now for the Turkish archer. And she may have cashed in. That's a ten liner. It's all of a sudden a reversal of fortunes for Yashim Bostan. She was looking at trailing Torben, and now she's got the lead by one. Yeah. And we have one point separating these two archers after the first three arrows. So an maybe, eight. Maybe Ooh. Inge van Kaspel start thinking about that. I got two tens. Oh, three could be awesome. So she moved her focus from actually doing the right moves to get the ten, to get focused on the points, and big mistake. Inge van Kaspel this season, seventh in Shanghai, did not compete in Medellin, and was fifth in Antalya. So picked up a lot of points at the two tour stops she was able to get to. Not always easy for these archers to get to all three of the World Cup tour events. Finances do play a part of it. Definitely finances is a huge problem in, uh, for all archers. Uh, lots of us has to finance it all ourselves. Mm -hmm. Some get a little bit from the federations in the countries and some are that good that they get sponsorships. Uh, the guys and girls you're going to see here at the World Cup Finals, I expect them to have some decent sponsorships, but uh, they paid a lot of money themselves to get there. They pay to play. Yeah. I've heard that from many athletes, many professional athletes around the world who are making millions. They say, oh, I'd, I'd play for nothing. Well, mm -hmm. I haven't seen that happen yet. No. Try doing this. Pay to play. Team. These are dedicated athletes right here. Bostan leading by one as we open up the second end, and it's a nine for Inga van Kaspel, just a little bit on the high side. 
Bravo. Sasha well done. Another bullet right into the center of that target. Trying to stay within two, maybe get back a little closer and that shot out of our camera sight. They've scored it an eight. Meanwhile, hey, well, Yashin Bostan just seems to be getting stronger she as the match goes back on. In the match. <laughs> yeah. Built Maybe herself a four point lead. Start feeling comfortable on the stage. Inge's <laughs> last shot was much more comfortable. She uh, actually just draw the bow back, aimed, and did what she's is doing every day for hours and hours. What just comes naturally. The shot. Yeah. 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 Don't think, don't do anything, just shoot. And conversely, we saw right there, for the first time, really, Yashim Bostan took an inordinately amount of, uh, an inordinate amount of time to get that shot off. Maybe she was thinking about it a little bit too much that time. Yep. And then Perhaps. that's when, the, when your muscle starts uh, shaking up and, and you start losing confidence in your head and yeah that's downhill yeah um, and, and by that saying downhill it's an eight well she dropped two points two from po a perfect <laughs> it's not that much downhill <laughs> not that much downhill <laughs> no but it does make the match a little bit closer now zinga van kaspel surveys the situation down range we'll get another look at inga's style as she releases yeah. Draws her right back along the chin line, back by her ear. Exactly. Yeah, the steady down. arm of Yashim Bostan of Turkey. Yashim in 2016, bronze medalist in Antalya, lost to Dahlia Crook there by just one point in the semifinals. She did finish also ninth in Shanghai at stage one, where she also won a team bronze medal. So it was a good summer for the young Turk. Turkey versus Netherlands in this third match. One more yet to come, and that will be an all Danish affair. A little bit of a chill in the air this morning as the fans in the shadows coming out in their jackets, which I'm sure once the sun hits them, they will be shedding. It's a beautiful day here, very, very comfortable conditions for the World Cup Finals. Here in Denmark, in the Garden Island of Buen. You get it. <laughs> Where we're having fun. See how much fun Yashim Bostan has. She has a lot of it on that first shot. Maintains a three-point lead. She's adjusting her sight. Like I said, she wants to go a little bit higher in the 10. She's shooting the low 10, but she wants to get in the high so she can make a little mistake, drop it a little bit, but still get the points. If she drops it a little bit as her sight was sighted in, she'll drop out, out of the 10. Inga van Kaspel making a bid at a comeback now. So hopefully we see a higher 10 now. It was high. It is. It's so interesting. Somebody shoots a 10 and that seems to spur the competitor next to her to shoot a 10 as well. Yeah, it can trick you. They raise the level of their game. You, you can use it positive or you can get down by it. Challenged, <laughs> accept the challenge. Exactly. You can see a little bit of a bobble. Her head moved just a little bit. Yeah. And that's seven, ouch. That's tough for Inga Van Kaspel. She had just shot a really strong 10, and there's Yashim Bostan. I got a feeling they're going to give her a 10 on that one. As I see it, it's a perfect score. But let's see what the judges mean. Let's see if it's a five point lead or if the lead is more or less. The Turkish flags are flying here in Odense, Denmark. Carl Arke along with Torben Johansson. Unofficially, I believe it's 29-26 in that third end. First two ends were close, decided by only one point, but this third end, that's the moving end. Three, three points picked up, at least on paper from what we can tell. Three points picked up by Yashim Bostan. 
See how the, the release hand moves perfectly backwards and the boat just jumps straight forward. That's what it's all about. And, uh, and aim in the middle. And aim in the middle. <laughs> and I believe, let's see. We'll wait till they post the scores again for us here. But I bet you Inge wants to take back that shot and do it over oh, again. That third, that third arrow. She knew it before the arrow left the boat. Sure, absolutely she did. She knew it. You could see her head moving. And it, it's such a bad feeling. <laughs> So we believe it's a five point advantage right now for Yashim Bostan of Turkey. And officially 86 81. It was actually a six point lead, 87 81. As Yashim. Had a perfect end in that third end. Three straight tens. Once the judges had a chance to take a closer look at those targets. Looked like the Turkish girl just lost the rhythm in her shot. It took a long time. And Inge got it back. Good to see Inga back there again. She's had some tough times though. A seven, two eights. A bunch of nines. And a few tens sprinkled in there. But Bostan has been the much more consistent archer. Inga still with a chance, though. Ah, keeps hope alive. Just outside the 10 ring, so she'll drop a point and lead by 4, 114 to 110 unofficially as we head to the fifth end here at the King's Garden. Inga van Kaspel, a protege of Peter Elzinga. Been on the circuit for quite some time. Her first World Cup final appearance, and the same goes for Yashim Bostan. Who won a junior team gold medal at the 2014 World Indoor Championships in Nîmes and was fourth at stage three in Antalya in 2014 in her first World Cup event. She would come back though. And in 2016 on Coney Alti Beach, pick up a bronze medal. So a steady progression during Bostan's career, which is what you hope to see from these youngsters as they climb the ladder. Yeah, you saw the head movement there. That's probably what cost her. Wearing those blue glasses to help her see that target 50 meters away just a little bit better. Create better definition of the different rings. Try to focus in on that all important 10 ring. She needs three straight 10s here to give herself a chance. There's maybe the first. That was the first one. Well, She's one definitely down. fighting back. She needs two more yeah. to fight back. That's for sure. And needs a little help from Bostan. Yeah. So mm. And there may be some of the help she needed. So, so there so is a two-point swing the right the there. She just yeah. cut that four-point deficit in half. That's how fast it goes. Ten, nine, eight, so if she can put them in, seven, she's putting Five. Enormous pressure on her. Nine. Nine's good, but ten mm, put, uh -huh. would have put a lot more pressure. Let's see how Yashim responds to the eight she shot on her first arrow of this fifth. Well, well, sorry, That's pretty well. good. That's a pretty good response, <laughs> yeah. That's a competitor. Down by three, and maybe down to her last arrow. Save it. Inga van Kaspel of the Netherlands. Nice Dials ten. up a 10. Yeah. 
Eight to win for Yashim Bostan. She goes one better. Congratulations to Bostan. Nine is enough as she wins by a total of two points, 141 to 139. So Yashim Bostan basically leading from start to finish, wire to wire. A little bit, I'm sure, of a tense moment there when uh, she shot that eight. Oh, yeah. After the 10 by Inga Van Gaspel that cut the lead down to two, but yeah. she was able to hold her off. She's got some heavy breathing going on. <laughs> a sigh of relief. And I bet that's eight. Yeah. <laughs> that still is kicking in her. <laughs>